Today on All Outbreak, we're continuing our journey through Mari Nui with Nocturne. We're going to build the set, review it, and then give out a score. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Christian from All Out Brick. Welcome to another Matanui Monday. As always, the best way to tag along with us every week is to subscribe and turn on notifications. This week, we're going to be building set number 8935, Nocturne, which was a set released as a part of the Bionicle line in 2007. Nocturne is a powerful, amphibious being once condemned to the pit for committing an unpardonable offense in the Matoran universe. The act he committed was he destroyed his entire home. Nocturne is easily angered, not very bright, and has difficulty with grammar acting primarily on instinct. He was cursed by the Kanoe and Nika so that every living thing he touched died instantly. Though originally interested in the ability, he grew to dislike it as it prevented him from enjoying the kill. Upon losing possession of the mask, the curse was lifted and he lost the ability. Taking a look at the packaging, we've got the cool underwater theme going on here. We've got a nice image of Nocturne highlighting some of his glow-in-the-dark pieces. And it's got this underwater vibe. We see the squid launcher in full action. He's swinging his arms around. And in the bottom left, we've got the set name. That is ages 8 to 16, the set number. And in the middle here, we've got a little designation that it is a glow-in-the-dark set, which will be pretty neat to check out. The top of the box gives us a highlight of a 1 to 1 scale squid launcher ammo, just so you can get an idea of the full size of the set by looking at the front image and the size of the squid ammo. And on the back of the box, we've got two new images of Nocturne. It's got this underwater thing going on in the bottom here. We can even see some silhouettes of the Toa Mari, which is awesome to kind of connect the story of 2007. Then at the top here, we've got the squid launcher demonstration and this little image of Nocturne crouched with four arms standing up. Then we've also got images of the six Baraki on the back of the box. Nocturne, I guess, kicks off our Titan stages of 2007. I don't really know. Is he a Titan set? Like, he's obviously bigger, but he's not that big. So he's kind of like this warrior set, I guess. Anyways, I'm pretty pumped up to see what this little extra scale and see what some extra pieces can give us and sort of add to that 2007 line that we've got established already. Let's go ahead and get his build done. <laughs> After 13 minutes, the Nocturne build is complete. Really quick build, so the assumption I had earlier where I wouldn't quite consider this a Titan set at all, I would say that stands true. It's more of a warrior set, something like that. In fact, it's probably classified as that. But 13 minute build, pretty nice build. I mean, the legs are duplicates and the arms are essentially like four of the same thing with a slight tweak depending on if it's the right side or the left side. So pretty straightforward build, but you know, can't complain. 13 minutes, super fast build, honestly, like just a little bit longer than like a Baraki or a Toa Mari. Really quick. Anyways, the look that we get here, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing special. I think it's definitely the oversized Baraki look. Maybe even not that much oversized, to be quite honest with you. Just some extra pieces, a couple extra limbs in there. I do like his color scheme. I think the green, that lime green, really stands out. And then we have this nice teal to balance it out. There's some silver sprinkled in, his nice accents. And I think the black pieces fit in just fine where they do. Maybe a little too much lime green if there's any sort of criticism for this. Maybe shake it up with one extra little shade in there to balance everything together. Moving back to those limbs. Boy, does this guy remind me of General Grievous. He's got the four arms pretty dang identical. Two of them, I mean, three of them are basically swords or, you know, sabers. So he's definitely got some General Grievous influence. If you, you know, if you ask me, I think there might have been a little influence there, but I love it. Another part that I'm really fascinated by with this design is the spine piece that goes over the back of the shoulders. It's a nice little touch. It reminds me of that green Baraki. I mean, the name Elec, I believe it was, that spine that just comes over. It's a nice way to just change it up, give us this nice organic look, you know, some extra detail without using too many pieces. It's just a nice, fun, creative way, and, you know, it looks really cool as well. Add some texture to the model. He's got a pretty cool little headpiece here that, you know, reminds me of a lot, of course, the Baraki. And the nice little touch about these teal pieces, they glow in the dark. Now, the camera's not going to be able to pick it up very well because they are a very faint glow, and I had to turn every single light off to be able to see, even see them in the glow in the dark, but they are pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice little touch, you know, you flick all the lights off and boom, Nocturne's kind of glow in the dark. It's a nice little mysterious guy. It's pretty cool. Uh, I wish it was a little brighter, but pretty cool. Nocturne's downsides, pretty limited. I mean, the first one, it's just that he just feels a little bare. 
I guess I was expecting a little bit more out of the special edition, you know, pieces and this a little bit bigger set. I was expecting a little bit more to be going on here. It's not the end of the world, but just a couple extra pieces here and there, just a little more variety with the limb construction. Maybe like the bottom two arms are a different construction than the top two arms. Make the build a little longer, but give us a little bit of extra flavor in there would have been nice. The only other downside, that squid launcher. I mean, I talked about it a little bit and then we talked about it in the Baraki video. It's just hit and miss. Sometimes the squid ammo sticks in there. Sometimes it'll fly out. Sometimes it'll just completely detach and go flying backwards. I don't know. I appreciate them coming up with this brand new function. I just wish it could execute it a little bit better. Overall, Nocturne's a nice little bonus set here, but he's nothing too incredibly special. And I definitely wouldn't rush to go get him over some of the other sets. I don't, especially in this line again. I mean, the Toomari are probably going to be my favorite for this line. It's going to be tough to beat them, but we'll see. Anyways, back to Nocturne. I mean, if you are trying to get this set, it's going to come at a very hefty price. I mean, in used condition, he's going to cost you around $80. And in brand new condition, he's $170 US dollars. I'm sorry, but those are just too expensive. I, I cannot justify spending either of those amounts on this set. I'm sure it's just because of those glow in the dark pieces and some of those lime pieces are that are super rare. So, yes, you're getting some rarer pieces. You know, if you're a mock builder, maybe that's a good way to go get a bunch of those pieces. I have no idea. But. I can't justify spending that on just Nocturne. I don't know if he's got that super special wow factor. I'm sure there's just going to be better sets for around this price point, if not just a little bit higher, where you don't have to feel like you're shelling out too much for, you know, an older set. In terms of a score, I'm going to give Nocturne a 7-3. He's good. I, he, I like it, but nothing's crazy. Again, just pretty nice little set he's got some cool arms he's got a nice color scheme pretty cool look to him a little bit too bare doesn't really feel too memorable but i do like him the glow in the dark is a nice neat little thing that just makes him stand out from some of the other sets so i think if you are running out of things to get for 2007 yeah he's going to be a good set to pick up or any of the other years for that matter he's a good set to pick up if you're really into nocturne you're trying to get nocturne you know you like the character or whatever yeah, you're going to be happy with the set, but you definitely are going to feel like you overpaid for it a little bit. Try to find a deal on those sets. I just $80 for just use condition. That's a lot. And 170 for brand new sealed. You better have a good reason for that. You better be a collector. I would not want to be popping open a brand new sealed one. So 7-3, that's your review. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be the first to see all of our future content. Also, be sure to check us out on our website and on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Until next time, stay bricking.